guys, I wasn't going to film this video but so many people have asked me to, it didn't feel like enough of a video to film but at the same time a few of you have requested shorter videos so this will be one of the shorter ones and it is my Bath and Body Works candle haul from when we went to New York um, a couple of months ago and I have six candles in front of me and two of them are the same so you can see where I'm going with the shortness of the video but I'll start with my favourite one and that is this one it's Tokyo Petals it's the Iced Saki and Cherry Blossoms candle um, and I really really like this one it just smells sweet and floral and really really nice I'll see if it has it says, an exotic combination of Japanese iced sake, delicate cherry blossoms and a hint of berries. And it is just very, very fruity and sweet and there's just something really, really nice about it. So that's my favourite one that I got. Um, I picked up this one because I didn't hear anyone like say that it was a terrible thing last year. This was one of those things that I heard every single YouTuber say, oh, this is amazing, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, the power of suggestion, I had to try this one. And it is Market Peach who didn't hear someone talk about this one last year. It does smell peachy, but when people were saying, people were saying, oh, it smells exactly like, you know, real fresh peaches. I don't think so. I mean, I'm not a big peach fan, so I don't eat them very often. Maybe I have kind of a warped uh, memory of what a peach smells like, but it smells like, um, you know, like peach sweets. Or for example, this is a big one. I think it smells exactly like when Hubba Pubba made peach flavored bubblegum. Can anyone remember that? Probably not. Um, but this smells exactly how that tasted. It's just so bizarre to me that it's the exact same smell. That's probably why I like it. It's very um, nostalgic. Uh, and this says, fresh from the stand, peaches strike a juicy note in a blend of vanilla featuring hints of citrus and raspberry. And I think that probably is about right. It's not kind of purely just a peach scent. It's very kind of sweet. Um, and it's just that kind of candy smell to me. Uh, the next thing that I got was Oceanside. Which, bizarrely, I was, I was um, burning this one yesterday and I knew it was kind of a fresh scent and I'd been burning it quite frequently. Uh, I'd burn it in the kitchen, it's not kind of a, uh, an offensive scent at all, it's not got anything really, really strong in it, it's just fresh. But I was burning it in here the other day whilst I was reorganising some stuff. Um, and I left the room and I came back and I, it hit me a real wave of, like, saltiness. It was really strange. And then I realised, of course, it's called Oceanside and so it probably is. Let's see what the description says. Uh, it says, a blend of sun-ripened citrus, juicy melon, refreshing ocean air brings you to a perfect day on the shore. I don't... I wouldn't have got kind of the melon scent to it at all. Um, but yeah, ocean air, 100%. And I got my husband to smell it and he couldn't smell this, like, the saltiness at all. And I don't know if he was kind of trying to smell something bad. If he thought that I was saying, oh, it's horrible. But I kind of... It was just so by the sea. It was so strange. If you have smelt this, you have to tell me what you think of it because... I didn't smell it at all when I was burning it downstairs, but because this is such a small room, maybe it's more concentrated. I just left, came back and was like, whoa, salty, <laughs> really strange. One that kind of smells like that to me, and I repurchased this one and I've burnt it a lot since, because I've had this one previously. Um, I've actually had quite a few of these that I've burnt um, since we went to Vegas. I came back with a few and someone kindly sent me some as well, and it is green grass. And this, this and Oceanside really share a lot of notes. I don't know what it says about this one. Refreshing as shaded grass on a warm sunny day, dewy greens, oh, maya lemon, infused with lily of the valley and touch of jasmine. So it's probably got something citrusy in it as well that reminds me of that one. That's the only thing that kind of reminds me of the two. Um, but just, this is one of my favourite all time candles. It's so fresh and, oh, I just, I love this one so much. Um, but I, I don't know, I like the sweeter ones as well, but that's just a really, it's nice for kind of spring and summer. And the last two that I got were the same ones and they are leaves. I had to get this because everyone raves about it but I have to tell you, it's not my favourite smell. Um, it's very apple-y uh, as the label suggests. It's nothing like leaves. I don't know what I thought it was going to be but when people say, um, oh it smells like Christmas, it just smells like Christmas. I think what does Christmas smell like to you? And it smells like cider. I can get that, it's got a bit of cinnamon in it and it's very kind of spicy. But I just think it's a little bit sickly for me and a little bit not nice. Um, but it says, a fragrance that embodies the rich richness of fall with all of its colours and pleasures, featuring notes of golden nectar, ripe delicious apples and red berries. There's just something in it that I really don't get along with. And I'm going to save this one again until autumn time and see if I like it then. Um, but I wanted to burn it once just to see what all the hype was about. I was going to save it, but I have got, you know, a spare. And if I really don't like this, I'll probably end up giving this to a friend. Um, but 
I don't know, I'm just not loving it, I'm afraid. Um, it reminds me of a different one that I had from, I think it was called Red Apple Wreath from Yankee Candles, that's very very similar to me, that's maybe a touch more cinnamony, um, but that's just, it just smells like apple juice or like cider and it's not my kind of bag I'm afraid. Uh, I wish I'd got some more um, fresh scents. But there are some places that you can buy these in the UK, there are also some eBay sellers, I'll link you some options below because I definitely would suggest you give these a go if you're kind of a Yankee, a Yankee Candle fan. Um, you're talking a similar kind of price, which is killer because they will do two for twenty dollars or two for twenty two dollars I think it is now um, quite frequently throughout the US and then you'll pay like 25 30 pounds to get one shipped from the US on eBay when you know they're making so much money on that I know obviously shipping is expensive because candles are quite heavy, but they're making a bundle on uh, Bath and Body Works candles because we can't get them and we'll pay anything <laughs> It's just craziness, uh, but if you guys have any particular fragrant suggestions for me from like Yankee Candle or even Kringle Candle, please let me know because I'm always in the market for a new scented candle. My husband despairs at my collection already. The fact that I was bringing home this many scented candles and I gave some to other people as well. This isn't even all of them that were in our case. He was freaking out when I was at Bath and Body Works and they were giving me like a special crate. Look, I had two of these they had to give me and he was going, oh my god, oh my god, we're never going to be able to take these home. Our baggage allowance is going to be like through the roof. Uh, but we were fine <laughs> and when we do go back to the States hopefully next year uh, I will be stocking up again but in the meantime if you know of any that are available in the UK that you think I would love not foody scents not so much kind of like the cinnamony and the appley and whatever but I like the fresh ones or the fruity scents uh, please leave me a comment below and let me know what you think I would like because I love my scented candles um, but yeah for those of you that wanted to see what I got from Bath & Body Works I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one bye